I would say not too bad for a drone which can literally fit into my pocket. All the footage you just saw was shot on the new DJI Mavic Mini 3 Pro. And I was able to capture everything with just basically five flights here in Southern Bavaria, in Mallorca, Spain and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And let me tell you, I'm really impressed by this drone here. First off, the form factor. This thing is so tiny. With just under 250 grams, it gives you a lot of freedom when it comes to drone regulation and rules and so on. And since I have to travel a lot, I want my gear to be as lightweight as possible. And this is just perfect. If you're like me, you might be worried, hey, can this thing resist a little bit of wind? Because sometimes I just fly in windy situations. For example, when I went to Mallorca and Rio de Janeiro, it was near the beach and in the mountains and it was very windy. I can luckily say this drone is very wind resistant and you don't have to worry about it. I didn't have any struggle and I was very happy with the performance. Next up, the price. I think it's very reasonable. I paid approximately 930 euros together with the remote smart, smart remote controller, which I got here. And it's super convenient because you got the built-in screen and you don't have to pull out your cell phone every time you want to fly, which was an additional step and very annoying. So I'm very happy with the new controller here. Talking about image quality, it's also pretty impressive. You get 4K up to 60 frames per second and full HD until 120 frames per second. Another feature I was very excited about is the HDR mode, which means high dynamic range. And together with the D-Log profile, you get 10-bit color depth, which is pretty decent for a good color grading. Also, when you fly in tricky light situations during sunset or sunrise, you really remain a good detail in the highlights and the shadows. But there is a little downside to the HDR files because you have to manually adjust your project and the files in your editing software in post to really get access to the HDR coding and to color grade it accordingly. If you wanna know more about it, please let me know in the comments below. Talking about smart fly modes, you basically got all of them like in the regular bigger drones. I just tried out a few of them like parallax and following or point of interest, I don't actually know the names and they work just fine for me. Another very important thing which I wanted to try out if it's actually any good for client work. Since it's so tiny and definitely not very impressive, I took the drone to Mallorca where I was shooting together with Sofia and we were also collaborating with a hotel resort there. And let me tell you, the client was very happy, I was very happy, the content turned out just great, so it's definitely client approved for my needs. Next up, flight time, very important. I got approximately 20 minutes out of it depending on the wind situation, but super cool feature, you can actually plug in your power bank via USB-C and then it's charging when you walk up a mountain or you're in the car or whatever, which is awesome. Talking about noise, it's pretty quiet and if you don't want to draw a lot of attention like me since I'm traveling often in South America where you definitely don't want to have any kind of attention when it comes to cameras, it's very convenient because it's definitely not so loud. Last but not least, I found out this drone is actually waterproof. No, no, I'm kidding. Or am I? Honestly, the other day I crashed the drone into a tree. It fell into the water. We lost the drone. Oh no. This is, a, this is a tricky situation we have here right now. Because water is wet and now we need to make a little recovery mission here. Got it. I immediately pulled out the battery, shook off the water, let it dry for 24 hours or so and it's flying ever since, which is a miracle because I was already very sad that I've lost it but I can not recommend you doing the same. What I do can recommend though, is if you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to don't miss out on any upcoming video, which I post every five months or so, but I'm trying to get better in it. Honestly, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I see you in the next one.